Now, you guys might not know this about me, but I'm actually a qualified accountant. I spent 10 years in London working in finance as an auditor. I worked in various firms, including the big four firms. And this is not to brag. I'm just trying to tell you that I have experience walking into client offices, speaking to teams, speaking to departments. And aside from my experience, I have watched other business professionals speak in front of groups. And what I have noticed across the firms I've worked in, as well as the offices I've been privileged to be inside of, is that the business professionals who don't just focus on their work, who don't just focus on their technical skills, whether it's software or accounting, but their communication skills, the way they speak in front of people confidently, boldly, persuasively, those are the people who rise up in their organizations. They are the ones who become the senior managers, the directors, the partners. And one of the most important parts of communication is the first moments when you introduce yourself to new people. That's exactly what I'm going to cover in this video. Power introductions. How can you speak to people in the first moments and introduce yourself as a leader, as someone with charisma, as someone who is competent at what they do? Stay tuned. Now, this is a quick and simple format. There are four steps to this. The first is your name, simple enough. Your title, your function, and then the fourth part is where it gets interesting. Typically, this would be a pleasantry, but we'll go into details on that later on in the video. Now, as simple as this is, this is something you absolutely want to get right, especially if you're a business professional who meets people on a daily, weekly basis, because they will remember how you introduced yourself, how you came across, and this is something that will paint their image of you for the rest of your career. So again, the first step is your name. That's pretty simple enough. The second is your title, for example, manager, senior auditor, director, whatever it is, and then function slash department. You want to explain what you actually do. What does your title mean? What does your department do? What is it in charge of? What is its goal? And finally, the pleasantry, such as nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to speak with you today. And by the way, if you're not a corporate person, we're going to get into how you can introduce yourself outside of the corporate world as well later on in this video. Here's a quick example. Hi, my name is Lamide. I am the senior manager here at the corporate finance department of XYZ Finance. Our goal is to help our clients with valuations, especially in the field of mergers and acquisitions. It's a pleasure to meet you. Now, what if you don't work in the corporate world? What if you're not a corporate professional. You might be a YouTuber or a freelancer. Here are some examples of how you can introduce yourself with power using the same format. Hi, my name is Alex. I am a videographer. I work with law firms to help create videos which showcase their expertise to potential clients. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, my name is Alicia. I am a YouTuber and content creator. I run a channel which focuses on fitness, personal development, and travel. It's a pleasure to meet you. Now, those are pretty standard, but you need to add eye contact, confident body language, standing upright. These are the things that sell your words. It's not just about the words you speak, it's about how you convey them. And so all these things require practice as simple as they are, but they will make a difference as you meet people each day in making them feel that you are either competent or someone who doesn't know what they are doing. Finally, these are very formal examples, but depending on the situation you find yourself in, you might want to add some fun to it. Maybe you're not in a professional situation, you're not in an office, now you can insert an additional step, which is a fun fact or a claim to fame. For example, outside of my job, outside of my profession, I enjoy golf, I enjoy traveling, I enjoy learning languages. Whatever your hobby is, you can insert it at the very end. 
depending on the context you find yourself in. Aside from adding a fun fact, you could add your claim to fame. For example, last year I grew from zero to 200,000 followers in six months. Now that's something that would impress the people you're speaking with and perhaps give you more opportunities to work with them. If you don't have an impressive claim to fame, then you can just insert examples of clients that you've worked with, people you've worked with. For example, in the past, I've worked with clients such as Coca-Cola and McDonald's to help them create videos. Or I have worked with this bank and that bank to help them close successfully their M&A deals. That's everything today on Power Introductions, Learn, Put to Good Use, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, like and subscribe.